Hello journal lovers, Sinead here, um, making a little video today, um, just a flip through of my traveller's notebook and how I'm still using it and how amazing it really still is. My love, my love for this journal has not got any less since the beginning. I think I got this in 2015. So, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty battered, the leather's pretty old. It's been on many trips around the world with me and I use it every day too. And this is my everyday setup. Uh, I carry it around me to my studio. I carry it sometimes if I'm just doing some little um, hikes here around an island, if I go to some sites or forests. I tend to always bring it with me because I never know when I might need it. So I thought I'd just do an update because, you know, I find a lot of time people in here are always showing the new journal and the new things that they bought for it, and um, which is great, and I totally love that too. Don't get me wrong, I'm obsessed with this Traveler's Notebook. I mean, I have to go to Tokyo. I really do, just go to that shop one day. Yeah, and if, you know, Traveller's Notebook are watching and they need an Irish sponsor, I am your girl. I've already, like, told so many people about this book. I should be getting some kind of, <laughs> um, some kind of, uh, you know, reward for that. But uh, this is pure love. I think I looked for this journal my whole life, actually. And I probably spoke about this on other videos, so can I just keep it short? So, yeah, I'm still with the brown and... I have a total of two book inserts in here and one plastic insert plus a dashboard that I made. Uh, so I keep it pretty thin. I think if I go any thicker than this, it just it just becomes too big. This is really the the chunkiest I like it for for actually being able to carry it around with you, which is what I want this for. You know, I have much bigger journals that I can use in my studio or just big papers. I don't need so much stuff with me and uh, you know when you're backpacking you can tend to put loads of stuff in or when you're traveling but the weight of it very quickly does um it does get heavy so i have one of these tags here this is a traveler's notebook tag that i put into the corner of um the notebook and at the moment i put my goddess card that i pull each day in there um, sometimes if I'm going on a trip, I'm going away, then this goddess card will stay with me for the trip. These are the divine um, feminine oracle cards from Megan Watterson. They're great cards and I enjoy pulling a card from them. I think she might make a divine masculine card set because that would be cool too. So at the moment Lilith is with me, the first woman. Then this um, front um, dashboard is I made this from a plastic wallet. Um, and I just have my quote, which actually I've been carrying this quote with me for a few years and I do keep looking at it thinking I want to change it, but it still is really speaking to me. So yeah, I'm keeping it. I'll keep it here until it's, till I feel like I've got something that other that I want to put there. And yeah, and then the next bit is the front bit of the Traveller's Notebook plastic wallet insert, which I also stuck another tag on here, and I have another <laughs> card. Obviously, I have a little bit of obsession with cards at the moment. This is the Rumi Oracle set, and this was given to me on a retreat in Greece last year. And I really loved it because I felt like it really looked like a womb um, in the ocean and the creation. And because my artwork was all up, is is and was then and so it is all about the womb um then it really spoke to me so i've already i've had this in here since since june last year and in the back here i carry my beautiful not so beautiful actually um but amazingly beautiful um peerless watercolor set that i made i just keep updating these when they get full at the moment um and i kind of use this when I'm out about painting sometimes to dab off paint if I don't have any tissue paper with me which is why it's got pretty dirty but that's cool I still love these things 
uh, if you don't know about PLS watercolours I will link a link below to them uh, you can read more about them but they're basically pigmented um, colour and highly pigmented and literally weigh nothing as you can see so perfect for on the move if you're out and about um, field sketching if you're doing like, trips on your own country like I do quite a bit here uh, and I also use it for my morning, my morning spiritual practice, my art practice that I do along with my meditations because it's easy that I have it right here with me if I want to journal and I suddenly want to paint or if I'm going to a, um, say a, a workshop that isn't necessarily an art workshop, maybe it's a, a moon workshop or a workshop honouring different goddess, you know, any kind of workshops that you can go to or kind of yoga classes that aren't yoga but meditation or cacao ceremonies i always take this this book with me actually <laughs> in case i want to paint um in the back of this is a long clear pocket which i just have some tabs in there and then my little uh washi tapes that i've just put onto some cardboard that is always useful to have i mean i use them probably more when i'm traveling than on a day-to-day -day basis but i keep them in here anyway and then the next insert is Kind of a scratch pad insert um as my everyday carry um it's literally i will use this for everything from um writing notes to in fact this is from a conference i went to so i wrote my notes in here um from that and you know going this was a little trip i did here on island and just things quotes or poems i like Sometimes lists, so there's new moon intentions, plans, you know, anything. Like I might write stuff in here or, yeah. And I actually kind of cut this book down to size to fit into here. It was a little bit bigger, but I, I've got into cutting the books down. I don't have a um, guillotine that would make it much, much straighter, but it doesn't really bother me because... You know, this is an artist set up, it's um, meant to be used every day, and it's not, I'm not really looking for it to be perfect, or, be or necessarily beautifully perfect. <laughs> I find it beautiful in an unperfect way. Um, then on the back is have a few post-its, always useful to have around. And then this is the back of my plastic wallet. Now this wallet has just recently started to break. So this will give you an idea of how long they last for. I got this in 2015 and I have used this. This is the, the main wallet. I have used this for, yeah, since then. So what, we're looking at five years. And it's been around a lot of trips around the world and used all the time. And I probably do overfill the back of this. Um, I'll show you what's in here. And oh yeah, I usually always keep this as mine here right now. But So what, I've got a few envelopes there just in the back and some random, <laughs> I don't know what these are. This is how long I have been taking this stuff out actually, but like random eyes. I think this was on a birthday card and I cut all the eyes out because I just thought they were too cool to throw away. Um, they're quite nice for random journaling. And then there's a Filofax ruler, which I find super useful actually to have. <laughs> I use it quite a lot um, and it's so thin. Then I would have in there... So this is like almost for me this is with the pierce watercolor set and this having this in here and the book it's like having a little art studio on the go wherever i am um and without having to think about it a lot pack it or think okay i'm going here what do i need or separate watercolor set separate sets for gouache or separate sets for pencils or you know this is just very basic stuff sometimes it's good to have less stuff i find when i'm out and about because I don't know about anyone else who who's into art and um, painting or drawing, but you can spend a lot of money on art products. I mean, me going into an art shop is like me going in to a bakery really hungry. Yeah, you always come out with more than you want. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I always have some pencils, coloured pencils. These are ink tents that I've been trying out recently. I haven't found any pencils that I really love, actually. Um, for this kind of watercolour pencils. These are watercolour as well, ink watercolour. They're meant to be kind of a strong colour. Um, I don't love them, but I'm still experimenting with them and I, I, do, I do often just use them as pencils sometimes. 
so one day i'll find the perfect pencil actually for on the go that will be exciting <laughs> but i'm gonna stick with these for a bit just keep trying them out sometimes it can take a while to bond with materials i find so i have that then i have a pencil just a normal pencil um get to have a little rubber on the end at the moment i'm really liking this orange pen but this can change over depending on my mood and if i'm gonna be away for longer i might think about it so for instance i'm gonna be going to spain soon to escape the winter here and um i will be thinking about what color do i want to bring with me because i don't like to bring too many materials then i have these micron um fine liner it's an art archival ink pen um which is an amazing pens uh, i got them in the states these are actually the only pen that i've found so far i don't know if anyone else has noticed this but it's actually waterproof because a lot of them say waterproof on them like for this one i think there's permanent but actually it it this one will, will um will blur will kind of smudge so this is great because you can draw something or write i sometimes like to write and then paint on top of it and it won't smudge this is the only pen so far that i found will, will hold up against the colors so oops that was my phone sorry about that so go mic one for that and then the last thing i have in there is my my trusty watercolor brush that i have in number one i like the fine um, but the good thing about this is big enough if you just wanted brushes you could just have brushes in there for your watercolors and maybe a pen if you want to be super i mean super minimal i find it very hard to be minimal <laughs> and then the last uh, main insert in here would be my tracker my menstrual cycle awareness tracker so in here would be how i track my cycle from a daily basis of writing i, I go along with the moon and i also paint as well for different days and how i'm feeling i'm not gonna go into that a lot right now because i'm gonna do a video about this actually and how i track and how i got into that for anyone that's interested in tracking their cycle creatively and physically and spiritually and emotionally <laughs> basically yeah everything <laughs> oh i forgot to put this in my so this also goes into my little on the go i find scissors really useful actually to have on the go um and also just because they're super cute they go in there so this is yeah one of the reasons why we're starting to get a bit broken so i will need a new one if travelers notebook are watching i would like to send me a new one because i make you all these videos promoting your journals please do please you know don't feel like you don't have to send me one just just email me and I'm, I'm always here <laughs> And okay, so the last thing in the back here is the back of this, uh, just to remind you, is the, the front plastic wallet that's made from an A4, um, like, a, yeah, like an A4 plastic sleeve, you know, that you put into ring binders and it's just been cut and made into this. I got that from a YouTube tutorial. If I can remember which one it was, I will link it below. And then in the back of here, I always keep, this is a watercolour postcard, for example. So I have, especially if I'm, go, if I'm going away, I'd have a few different ones of these, just so that I could paint outside my book separately. And it's a bit thicker paper than I would have in my book to paint on. And it's nice to have scraps of paper, something nice to give to people too. And the last thing I have is my trusty pen. This is the Uniball Jetstream. I'm still really liking as a combination pen. And because it's so thin and you have all the colours and a pencil in there, but I haven't really worked out to refill that yet. That seems to be eluding me. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm not too bothered about it right now because I'm not on a huge travelling minimalist trip. But if you are travelling minimalist, you would want to know how that's that. So that is the book. Um, yeah, it loved a lot, used a lot, and was standing the test of time I would say and I just wanted to do a video about that because you know in today's society with all the stuff that we consume and we um, produce and especially as artists actually we do we do definitely get our fair share of things and paints and materials and brushes and pencils and 
yeah, yeah, it really does add up. And I think as we're becoming more and more conscious of where this stuff goes when we throw it away, these kind of inventions are just beautiful because if you don't know about this journal, yeah, you keep this this outside piece always and then you refill it with books. And so, you know, in that way, it's reusable. They're a reusable journal and you can keep your inserts separately in the little boxes as what I do. Um, yeah, so that's it really. And then on the front, I have a few little, <clears throat> a few little, um, oh, what's the word? Chums. And I have a little fairy holding an amethyst here. Had her for a long time. She's my little fairy guardian. And I had the rat because I am from the year of the rat that I got this last year in, I think it's called Tokyo Town in LA. It's a cool place there for these little trinkets. Um, of course again, I, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. I will be um, doing another video about my method cycle tracking and how I do that using this book on my daily basis. And yeah, this is my setup, 2020 setup and life setup at the moment because I've been using this setup now for quite a few years. Um, so yeah, I do wholeheartedly say to anyone looking for a new journal system, do check out the Traveler's Notebook because they are awesome in the fact that you can just do anything with them that you want. This is for me because I'm, I'm an artist, but I also like to have lists and organize in some kind of way. So it always meant having two different kinds of journals, but this way I can have my art journal and my kind of organizing list, scratch pad journal type thing, notebook, all in one. And it just means I don't have to have a huge amount of things to carry. Okay, so um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to hear about some next videos I'll be doing about journaling and yeah, have a great day and start the year. Bye.